I've been in Ohio experiencing this mecca of aviation. We've already destroyed a $100 hamburger, saw the Flight Outfitters headquarters, and now we're going to get a personal tour of Sporties. So this is like a department store for aviation. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. You can get most of this online. In fact, I'd assume you get, can get any of it online. John Zimmerman, the vice president of Sporties, would show us around the facilities, starting with the flight school. And then this is where our flight schools run out of. So we, about 50% part 61, you know, person off the street wants to learn how to fly for fun. About 50% part 141, we do the University of Cincinnati's uh, professional pilot program. So two year degree, a branch campus of the University of Cincinnati is literally through the trees back there, about a mile. Cool. So you can do your classes there, your lab work is here at the airport. Traditionally, we, we have sent pilots to kind of an interesting diversity of jobs. I mean, right now, airlines are hiring so much that, you know, airlines pay a lot. But we traditionally do a lot with business aviation. Uh, had a student graduate from here who went and flew for NOAA, was flying twin commanders over the snowpack in like crazy. northern Minnesota and stuff. Awesome. Uh, so kind of an interesting variety of stuff. But anyway, that's, that's sort of all run out of here. Uh, those are all our flight school airplanes out there, mostly Cessnas, obviously, like the one you were in. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, uh, that's a growing part of our business. I mean, you guys know it right now with flight training and airlines hiring. You know, when you learn to fly, right, that's a critical time, that period when you decide, I'm going to do it, I'm going to learn to fly. And you kind of go through and you get your, get your license. That's a big time in a pilot's life, so we like to stay really close to that. Now we'd head into the upstairs design lab and see how the Sporty's catalog is made. Of course, we've all seen those catalogs, and this is where it all comes together. This is our catalog and graphics department, and every catalog we do ends up in print, and so every catalog we do starts in print. In between, it's all digital, but we like to say this is the kindergarten skills here, if you can cut and paste. Uh, you can do the initial catalog layout. So we have four catalogs here. Cut out the products that are dropped. You put a post-it note in for the new products. You move it around, you change it up. We're gonna put this category in the front, move this to the back. Sort of version 1.0 pagination. That's cool. And then from there, it goes to our graphics team and they lay it out. Um, this is one of the cool things about Sporties. It's Monday, we're busy. So we have no graphics department because they're all out on the floor pulling orders right now. Nice, I can't <laughs> so, wait to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me do this instead of being out there pulling orders too. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, but, so that's this whole team. They do everything from emails to the catalog layout, print ads, trade show booths, website design, you know, anything design oriented is this team up here. Sporties is also known for their fantastic online video courses. They have a lot of different types of courses, and this is where it's all come together over the years from those old classic videos you've seen to the new modern stuff. This is our uh, video department. So Brett Kobe, who I, I think you've talked to before, this is mm -hmm. kind of his domain. Um, this is where really all of our training stuff comes out of. So everything from script to uh, shooting to editing to graphics and animations, uh, it all happens here. We also do a lot of software development in addition to the content we create. So. We have our own custom built learning management system that uh, delivers online. We have an iOS app, Android app, Roku app, Apple TV app. So this group has really gone from what we used to call our video department when we were shooting on VHS to DVDs and now it's really video plus software. Uh, and it's sort of the combination of all that that fits together. Oh, we have two doctors, one's an AME, so you can get your medical. You know, the idea being as silly as it is, we try to knock down every barrier between you and your pilot certificate. So we have a written testing center downstairs. We have a doctor here. When you're ready to train, we're ready for you. you know, there's, no, there's nothing in your way. You don't have to drive across town and make an appointment with some doctor you've never met before. You just come around the corner to Dr. Held. John showed us the tower overlooking the airport, which is not a control tower. And then we'd get a little history lesson before heading to the factory floor. Sporties was founded in 1961 by Hal, the, the guy you yeah. saw down there. And, and he's, you know, mostly out of the day to day, but he's still in here every day. But he found it literally out of the trunk of his Studebaker. So if you look in that first hmm. hangar, you'll see a Studebaker. That was his first warehouse, was the trunk of his car. And he would pony up to the bar down at the Sky Galley at Lunkin Airport and talk to pilots about this little radio he had. So they had a small store at Lunkin and then a bigger store just off of Lunkin and then they moved out here to the other side of the uh, airport in 71, I think, and kind of built and built and added on and added on. 
and decided in 1990 they retired all these add-ons and still built this new so it all works pretty much like a well-oiled machine everything comes in the back and receiving you see those high aisles that's our deep storage and then it comes forward to these lower aisles those are the picking aisles so order prints out order gets picked brings forward kind of blocked but there'll be this middle row of checker stations everything gets checked by somebody else make sure it's right so that's really important to us because you know if you want a cincinnati sectional and you want it tomorrow you don't want the st louis sectional you want the cincinnati sectional so everything gets checked and everything gets packed at one of these packer stations then comes up on the belt here goes out the side and you saw when you drove up we've got a ups and a fedex truck and we have a mail truck that will come too and we pretty much fill up the trucks every day they come at the end of the day and pick it up drop off an empty truck and we do it all over again tomorrow so how does an order go from you making it online to actually getting picked by an employee at Sporties. Let's watch Blair, let's follow her with a real order just randomly as we walked up and see how they go and find the merchandise and start to ship it. Wow, rudder pedals. Yeah. Nice. So, good order. That won't really fit in a regular bin, right? It will not. So, first I gotta get um, yoke and throttle, too. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so these are actually up here. Just grab one of these guys. Cool. Yeah, it's good stuff. That's the one I have. Yeah. Yeah, we sell a ton of these. A lot of Christmas gifts, I guess. Yeah. Um, we'll roll this guy in the middle and that's it. Great job. Order. I'm a bit overwhelmed by how much there is here. That's a lot. It kind of makes you feel warm and fuzzy though, because you know you're not the only pilot that geeks out on all this stuff. There's like hundreds of orders. That was a little crazy and overwhelming. So just as an example, this UPS truck right here and FedEx truck, they'll fill that up today with orders, which is just mind boggling. Lots of people love aviation. Despite the big facility, Sporty still feels like one big family and, and John certainly made us feel at home. We'd feel that even more over the coming days as we flew with John and his family PC-12 to Neil Armstrong's hometown, which you'll see coming, uh, my first helicopter ride to go skeet shooting, and many other experiences in between. We had a lot of fun and really got to see a lot of Ohio. Uh, but that's coming up next, so subscribe to tune in to see those next episodes. And until then, throttle on.